Hey guys, this is Jen from Head to Dough. Today's tutorial is another Halloween look that I wanted to share with you, and it's my cute and kind of stylized rendition of a deer. So I thought it would be really fun for Halloween this year to do something that was still kind of girly, but also showing off some of your makeup skills. So if you want to see how to do this look, then keep watching. So to begin the look, I'm just starting with a base of foundation. I'm using Neutrogena Healthy Skin all over my face. Next, I'm just taking my white jumbo eye pencil from NYX and I'm just going to highlight areas that need to be really white. So I'm going to add little half moon shapes above my eyebrows here. I'm also going to add little highlight marks under my eyes right here and then underneath my lip and down on my chin area. I'm going to blend that out. For this, I'm mainly just blending out along the edges of all of these white sections. Next, I'm taking my bronzer. I'm really gonna load that up on my brush. I'm just going to apply that in the middle of my forehead, pretty densely. Now, taking a smaller fluffy brush, I'm just going in with this white eyeshadow, and I'm going to go over these white areas. You'll wanna really pat this on so that it leaves a more dense layer. I'm also going to push the sides together to make this brush a little flatter where I put the jumbo pencil underneath my eyes and also under the lip. I'm going to go back in with that original bronzer which has a bit of an oranger base and I'm going to shade around my nose. And then I'm going to fill in this little triangle area. I'm bringing this up along the bridge of the nose as well. Now I'm going in with a more neutral colored bronzer and I'm actually going to use this to contour my cheek line. So taking this up by where the middle of your ear is right here, I'm just going to press this in a diagonal line downward. I'm just going to pull this out in a V shape. Next I'm going to go in with my jumbo white pencil again and I'm going to use this to highlight right underneath my eyebrows. Now I'm going to set those areas again with some white eyeshadow. Next I'm going to take my black gel eyeliner and I'm going to make a few guidelines for how I'm going to do a really thick wing. Right at the inner corners, I'm going to make a little point that goes straight downward here. And then I'm going to make little hash lines where the outline is going to be. The outer curve is going to be in kind of a box shape, so I'm going to go a little bit closer to my brows right here, and then I'm going to have a line that goes straight downward. So I'm starting at the corner of that last line, and I'm going to pull it out. All right, now's the tricky part. We're going to connect all of the lines. I'm pulling this just a little further down, bringing the point up toward my eye. And right here, I'm going to mark a line, I'm going to connect up from there. And then from this corner to this line, it's going to be pretty straight. To give the eyes an even brighter doe-eyed effect, I'm going to take this white pencil from NYX, and I'm going to line my waterline. I'm also taking this pencil and just highlighting on the outside of this black edge. I'm going back in with my gel eyeliner and I'm going to add a little nose. So for the nose shape, it's going to be a little rounded at the top, but I want to keep it toward the bottom of my nose. So I'm going to go right here to the tip of my nose and then making downward pointing lines on either side. Then I'm just going to again connect the dots. I'm leaving a little section in the middle because I'm going to add a little highlight right there. At the bottom of the nostrils here, I'm going to mark a little line right there, and then I'm going to connect it back up to the sides. Now I'm taking the white pencil and I'm just going to fill in the little highlight area. Next I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. And now I'm going to add these really cool paper self paper eyelashes, which are in the shape of these antlers with little butterflies on them. Thought they were appropriate for the look. To add extra drama, you can apply lashes up along this winged line, and that'll give your eyes an even larger effect. Next, I'm going to take a pink lipstick and fill in my lips. Now I'm going 
going to take my brow powder and fill in my brows. I'm using a rounder brow shape, plus the darker color is really going to offset the very strong makeup. So definitely go for a darker color than you usually would. My final step in this look is taking a white eyeliner again, and I'm going to add little fawn freckles on my cheeks. So we're going to draw little ovals on the cheeks. About like that. three dashes, and then two, and another two. So this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and also subscribe to this channel if you want to see more Halloween tutorials or other videos that are super fun in general. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. From head to dough? It'll only cost you a buck. Dear Jen, try not to fawn over this look. Try this look. I dear you. Keep watching this tutorial. I behoof you. Time to go get some Starbucks. Don't get left out in the forest. Follow the herd. That wasn't even a pun. <laughs> We're really stretching it now. Oh, look at those vicious teeth. Are you going to attack me? Are you a hunting puppy? Bow. He's pointing to the deer. <laughs> <laughs>